Oi, fellow comrades, this is Squid Tard here, back with another SEC College Football 2019 prediction. And this is the last one, and it ends off with, of course, Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt, they've slowly been getting better these last few years. Uh, again, most of the talent on Vanderbilt's roster is uh they they've got some talent on the roster including of course Keyshawn Vaughn their running back he's going to be really interesting to watch this season and as well as uh whether or not their quarterback can really compete with uh the rest of the quarterbacks in the SEC but uh their schedule is a pretty unfavorable schedule for Vandy if they want to get to a bowl game this season but is it possible well, well, let's just take a look at their schedule and see what they can do to try and get to a bowl game. As for uh, the beginning of the season, they start off with a very, very tough game against Georgia. This is at at home. I really can't pick Bandy to beat Georgia in this game. I, I really can't. Georgia is way more talented at this point. It's not being biased or anything like that. It's just the truth. Georgia is a more talented team than Vanderbilt, and the chances of pulling off an upset against at that level of talent is very slim, in my opinion. So, I have to give the win to Georgia. Uh, but after that, you go on the road to Purdue. This one could be really, really difficult for Vandy if they are not careful, but I do think that their running back can force a lot of pressure on Purdue's defense. And I think that you're going to score a lot of points on that defense. And at, in the end, I think Purdue, I think uh, Vanderbilt gets the win over Purdue. Uh, after a bye week, though, it's against LSU at home. Another really difficult home game. Um, I really, again, I really can't pick uh, Vanderbilt to beat LSU. They're a way more talented team than Vanderbilt. And because of that, I, I have to pick LSU to uh, to win this game. Now, if Vanderbilt somehow does pull out a win, that or no, if Vanderbilt somehow does pull out a win, I mean, I'll, I'll eat my words. But until then, I have to pick uh, I have to pick LSU to win this game. After that, though, it's Northern Illinois. That should be an easy win. And then it's at Ole Miss. Uh, Ole Miss, their defense is not going to be very good against Keyshawn Vaughn, I don't think. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of open space for him to run that game, and I don't think Ole Miss is going to have the defense to be able to compete with that. So I have to give the win to Vanderbilt there. After that, though, it's UNLV, uh, another win right there. But then uh, it's uh, against Missouri. This is another home game for them. Uh, going to be a lot of momentum going into this game, I bet. So it's going to be very close. But in the end, I think the more talented team gets the win, and it, which goes to Missouri, even though they have their bowl ban. This could end up being a very close game coming down to the wire, but it's just about who has the more talent, and that has to go to Missouri. And then after a bye week, against South Carolina, this is at South Carolina, so again, this could come down to the wire, but South Carolina is going to be quite a bit down at this time because of how their juggernaut schedule uh and they're gonna have a string of losses going into this game and uh, vanderbilt they're probably gonna have a lot of momentum after having that bye week and i think they're going to get the win against south carolina in an upset type style and then it's at florida florida this could be an interesting game too but again it's florida this one could end up coming down to the wire but I cannot see, uh, I, I just cannot see uh, Florida losing to Vandy in this scenario. After that, though, it's against Kentucky. This one, this one's really interesting to look at because both of these teams, they're probably going to have a, be in a difficult spot going into this game. But in the end, I do think that barely, barely... Kentucky is going to edge out with a win in this one. And the reason why I think I'm picking Kentucky over Vandy is that Kentucky is in a much better spot because they, th this is right after a, I believe, yeah, I believe this is right after, yeah, well, they play Tennessee and then they play uh, at Vandy. As for Vandy, though, this is right after they play at Florida. 
get obviously a tough spot right there. They could be looking towards this game and forgetting about the Florida game in general, but I don't see that happening. I think Vandy is going to play against Kentucky, and again, this one could come down to the wire, but just because of past seasons, I have to give the win to Kentucky. After that though, East Tennessee State, an easy win right there. And then it's at Tennessee. Tennessee is going to be a much more improved team. Uh, Jamie Pruitt, still a lot of questions about him. A lot of questions revolving around their offense, including their offensive line. And so if, if Keyshawn Vaughn is able to get an open space in that defense, Vanderbilt should get the win here. But can that really happen? Tennessee is more of a defensive team where they're at now, with Jamie Pruitt, of course, being a former defensive coordinator. But I have to give the win to Tennessee just in an edge, though. And that's why I put their biggest chance for a win uh, at 50% for Tennessee. So biggest chance for win here. Yeah, Tennessee, 50%. Uh, again, this game could go either way. End of the season. A lot of questions here for both teams. And biggest chance for loss goes to Purdue at 35%. Uh, I've already explained that Purdue. Uh, this is a this is a game at Purdue, but uh, Keyshawn Vaughn will be able to have a spot in that defense to run through, and that puts Vanderbilt at six and six, going to a bowl game this season. So that's a slight improvement. Again, uh, they they did end up going to a bowl game last season, I believe. But again, this is an improve. This is an improvement for Vanderbilt to be able to go to two consecutive bowl games after two seasons. So. Uh, pretty good season for Vanderbilt and just wanting to keep that bull streak alive. But yeah, that's my Vanderbilt prediction. And uh, go back and make sure to watch all my other SEC predictions and then give me your thoughts about what you think about all these predictions. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.